rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I think that good really start off with the talk about the fact is the ungodly. He 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 came to save the ungodly. Every last one of us, Marvel not, we gotta be born again anyway. So let's understand we are all coming in in one sense or another as the ungodly. Right? It's not about the like you say, it's not about the, the, the pitch is not about being this great, wonderful, wealthy and getting great, you know, rich and all that stuff. Is moving from from unrighteousness to righteousness, and that unrighteousness is because we we were born into sin, right? Therefore, we're ungodly, but we are made and justified through faith through Jesus Christ, and and we try to bring everyone reconciled them from being ungodly to godly, right? And then you know what? Them, and you're right, Pastor. You're 100% right. But unfortunately, I think if you, because of us, again, talking about us now as his witnesses and his his media outlets, so to speak, his salesmen, mm -hmm. I think if you, if you gathered 100 people that were, they have nothing to do with God and asked them what's the central theme of, the, of what we preach, they would say, oh, it's prosperity. It's prosperity. Because mm -hmm. that's what we push. That's what we've taught. That's what we taught. That's what we showcase. That's what we act like. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than looking at the pimps. They got the nice cars, they got the nice suits, they got the nice women, they got all the hundred, they got all the money. I don't see any different from what we've pushed as a narrative. And that's not what we should be pushing. So the right. central theme, the central theme should not be, oh, it's about prosperity. And that's what you and that's and that's where we have failed him and misrepresented him. Because I agree with you, that's what what you're saying is what we should be. What yeah. I'm saying is what's actually going on in the world today. And that's, and that's unfortunately, mainstream uh, Christianity has not pushed the right narrative, in my opinion. I agree. Because one of the things, too, is that, because if, if we read on the, if we keep reading what Elder was, Elder, this other uh, part of that, part of that chapter, because uh, we do got to show people what's the difference. There got to be a contrast between being saved <laughs> And not, yeah. remain an ungodly, right? Yeah. But we have to show that this is what happened. Like, read that right, verse 8 through 11. But God commanded his love, praise God. But God commanded this, his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Very important scripture. Very important. Very Amen. Much more than, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Said, yeah, right, very important. Much more than being now justified by his blood much more than being justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him yes or if when we were enemies we were reconciled we praise god come on now it's scripture man uh we were reconciled to god by the death of his son yes. much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life yes and not only so but <clears throat> and not only so but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Yes. Yes. That, 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 that's, that's good stuff. Yep. Yeah. You know, I think this book, I think this book, to be honest with you, in my opinion, uh, is more about relationship than it is about prosperity. It's about relationships. It's relationships. Horizontal and vertical. Yes. And, and that is the prosperity. When he said I come that they might have, I thought, you know, it's like, I'm sorry if I, I might be wrong with this, but it sounds like sometimes that Jesus is double talking when he says, I, I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Well, who is life? He tells us, or what is life? He tells us later on in one place, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, oh, to say, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you the desires of your heart. But if you delight yourself in him, isn't he the desire of your heart? Yes. I mean, if we truly delight in him. So when Christ, when we're talking, as we grow and we mature from carnality to his spirituality, it's so, it turns so far away from acquisition of material stuff. It's ridiculous. Jesus was not talking about material stuff. No. He was literally like, 
Brother Jim was saying, he was talking about the relationship between God and his creation. The sonship, the oneness that's oft time mentioned in the scripture and Jesus prays for before he departs from the planet that we would be one with the Father even as he was one with the Father that we would be one with each other. Yeah. I think, and this is a Johnson, this is y'all definitely pray for me on this. We're looking at strength being disseminated in such a manner, power being disseminated in such a manner that anybody affected by it is edified by it. Exactly. So God pours himself out and pours himself out that we might have life. Come on, man. Our training is to do the same. Exactly. It's not to come upon a portion and, and, and judge and condemn them. And that, I got to leave this alone. This is too good. Uh, <laughs> when he said, while we were yet sinners, yeah. yeah, we were yet messed yeah. up, jacked up, and I know it's true for me. He yeah. died for us. Yes. And if he had not done that, we who were yet sinners would still be yet sinners. Yes. <laughs> you know, if he had not sacrificed himself while we was in the throes of our mess and and, 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 and just jacked up across the board, we would be dead. We would be headed for hell. But he looked at the despair that we were suffering and said. This is what needs to take place in order for them to be reconciled to me. In order for them to have life, I yes. got to go give my life. Absolutely. He's got to forgive us. He's got to give life to us before we can have life. So, so and, and I think that is the pattern of behavior that he has mandated that we display. Yes. Well, you know, too, 